Roll along where we move, roll along while I grew. Shine above, lamp of love, prairie moon. Way up there in the blue, maybe you're lonely too. Swinging by in the sky, prairie moon. I need your tender light to make things right. You know I'm so alone tonight. Far away, yet you'll be on the go. Mark, we've just said our goodbyes in your office, and um, I held back the tears, and I'm still going to. And I just want to say, Alex, don't start any of that um, slow, tearful music whilst I'm speaking, please. I'm really going to miss you. And um, what can I say? Um, nearly five years ago, you interviewed me. You spent the whole hour on the telephone to Van Pinto, but Lee Smith was there to keep me company. Um, I started working for you. And uh, Marie and Val at the time warned me about the hot seat. And I, I would say, what are you talking about? What hot seat? And um, apparently my two predecessors became pregnant. And I thought, well, that's not going to happen to me. You know? Young girl straight from the States, you know? new job, I'm going to get settled. And lo and behold, a few years later, a few months later, I was pregnant. OK, Mark. I was very disappointed last Friday to spend seven hours in Deep's office purely because I thought perhaps you might come in and ask me out for lunch. You didn't, that's fine. I'll wait till the next time September looks free. Take care, all the best, ciao. Okay, Mark, bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure this is uh, an important moment uh, for the company and uh, you will be greatly uh, missed. Uh, in particular, I will miss you uh, as uh, a close uh, ally. In fact, uh, I got to confess to you that uh, on a couple of occasions I took profit of your neighborhood to Deep's office, uh, seeking help and especially seeking support uh, when some uh, sort of heavy or loud discussion are breaking in uh, the office. Who I'm going to look uh, for now? Who I'm going to uh, seek help? Uh, uh, Melissa, John Patman, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I hope you great success and a lot of uh, peace and quiet now that you are retiring. Maybe uh, you will go in Copacabana and uh, with a couple of uh, nice Brazilian girls, one on the left and one on the right. Uh, maybe you'll go for some other sort of solution. But anyway, enjoy it, have a great time, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you soon uh, here at Lintus Worldwide. Bye-bye. Mark, when I heard you were retiring, due to your uh, much publicised love of red wine, I had intended to give this to you, Latash 74. However, um, I had to taste it to make sure it was up to your standard, and uh, in doing so, it uh, <laughs> all disappeared. Never mind, eh? Have a good retirement. Oh, well, this is the last tray you get from me. Oh, no coffee pot. Never mind, I might forget your coffee, but I'll never forget you. Bye, Mark. All right? Mark, do you remember that day when I first arrived at Lintas and I asked you um, whether Captain Birdseye was a Unilever client and you had a fit with your leg up and just couldn't believe my ignorance? Um, from there on, I then went round the office singing Captain Birdseye until everyone went really mad and slammed their doors and said, for God's sake, shut up, Melissa. Well, Mark, I'll also miss your songs from when you went to lunch with Deep. Down in a deep, dark hole sat a monkey chewing on a beanstalk. Um, I don't know whether that had anything to having lunch with Deep or whatever. Um, I'll miss you very much, and I hope you have a really enjoyable retirement, very deserved retirement, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks, bye. That's all I have to say. Thank you. That certain night, the night we met, there was magic abroad in the air. Angels dining at the Ritz And the nightingale sang in Barclay Square I may be white, 
I may be wrong, but I'm perfectly willing to swear that when you turned and smiled at me, a nightingale sang in Barclay Square. The moon that lingered over London town, more cousin moon. Well, Mark, unfortunately I never had the good fortune to work with you, especially after your Latin American presentation. This is something I regret. An interesting, informative presentation with plenty of booze. I think the other director should take a leaf out of your book. Um, seriously, I wish you a long and happy retirement and you will be missed. Bye. Is he an Essex bullet? He is, no, isn't no, he? No, he isn't. No, he comes from... Um, no, but he um, went to Essex, didn't, didn't he? he? No, I don't know. Um, it's been marvellous knowing you. I do hope you have a jolly good time on your retirement. And indeed, come to see me sometime, maybe for supper or five o'clock tea. Mark, hang on a minute. Sorry, but I think I'm far from becoming English, even though I speak the language a bit better now. Um, anyway, it's been really great knowing the Mark Penny whom everybody w used to talk about in Brazil. Um, every time you were around about to come over the whole office would be rushing around. It was very special to find out that apart from being important and famous you're also you are also one of the sweetest charming people I've met here. Thank you for being so kind and welcoming and thank you for sending me to the Food and Drinks Conference in, Sli in Lisbon. Take good care of yourself. Un beso e un grande abrazo. So where am I looking? At the camera, yeah. Just at the big bit there? Yeah. Hi Mark. Um, I'd just like to wish you a long and very happy retirement. After 35 years I think you deserve it. Um, it's been a pleasure working for you for the last two years and I've loved every minute of it. Um, I shall miss the Latin American region and I shall miss you. What more can I say? Un beso. Well, Mark, it's been a long time, all these years, and we've been a long way. Who would think all that time ago, when we first thought of narcissism, we could hardly say it, let alone spell it. And now you're off to pastures new and life after Lintas, leaving us with an awful lot of Argentinian wine to get through. All the best. Bye. Buenos dias, Mark. I hope you have a wonderful time and I hope to bump into you in Las Mañanitas in Mexico one day and we can have a drink. Bye. So, Mark, um, this is it. You know, goodbye wine, goodbye biscuits, you know, into bookbinding. Um, it's just going to be a pity that we can't go to the um, International Wine Fair at Earl's Court again, where we ambled around chatting to the winemakers, having one or two um, samples, and for some reason we continue to swallow it down as opposed to the other experts who spat it out. Hey, what do they know? Um, hope it goes well in your retirement and um, look forward to seeing you at some wine-related event. Cheers. Hi Mark, I can hardly believe that you have decided to leave and go into retirement. <coughs> I remember rather vividly the days when we were at the so-called Training Institute in Hamburg Klein Flotbeck and when I first met you and when we tried to spend a weekend with a small German car in the surroundings of Hamburg. Since we have had many encounters and I must say, most of them very pleasant. You were one of the most outspoken colleagues I ever met, one of the most English colleagues I ever met, but also one of the most pleasant colleagues I ever had. I wish you all the very, very best in your retirement, and I hope we will not lose contact. 
Well, Mark, what can I say? I, for one, would certainly miss you. You've been around here a long time, and me likewise, I suppose, and uh, I would definitely miss your face. But, um, however, I think a few more people will be missing me because I've been told that my services now are not, no longer required uh, for reasons for which you know about. So, Mark, all the best for the future and good luck. Lintas may struggle on, Latin America may survive, but the executive lunch will never be the same again. The salt will lose its savour, the Tabasco will lose its heat, the vinegar will lose its vinegariness, the conversation will lose its sharp wit and its double-edged unpredictability. Mark, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to have lunched with you and I ha hope you have some great ones out there in the real world outside. Well, Mark, goodbye. We never quite thought that this time would come because certainly your leaving is the end of an era for Lintas. Things here won't be the same again and I'm not just thinking of mess lunches. You've been a great friend and great supporter so thank you very much indeed and all the very very best best wishes for a happy retirement and I hope you find a nice house very soon. Well Mark what can I say? Well there's a lot I can say and for once I'm going to try to be at least a little bit serious. Um, when we were last together in a business situation, we were in Sao Paulo, and you announced your retirement um, to the regional, your regional people. And I can't remember a more heartfelt outpouring of, of good wishes and goodwill and disappointment that you would be leaving um, the South American, Latin American region in August. I also share that sense of loss. We've only been working together uh, as colleagues for a short period of time, but it's very, very important uh, that everybody, and I know you know this, recognizes what a tremendous help you've been in my transition into my role on Unilever. You were my predecessor. You set the stage. You made a tremendous amount happen in the several years that you were the key steward on the business. In fact, when we, when Interpublic acquired Lintas, many people thought it was the death knell of the Unilever business with us. Quite the contrary has happened. We have grown the Unilever business several fold since that time. And the person who can be held singularly most responsible for guiding that growth is one Mark Penny. Fact is, I wouldn't have a job today, a job that I care for and care about very much, if it wasn't for you. And I will be forever grateful for you doing such a wonderful job in making my job a lot easier. Goodbye, Mr. Penny. I will miss you at the lunches and I wish you all the best and I hope you have a lovely retirement. We're all going to miss you. The worldwide team is going to miss you. Deep, Gordon, 
Leo and John, your guys, I know are going to miss you greatly. Uh, I look forward to carrying on your legacy, and I wish you all the best in your retirement. And I certainly hope you find that home in the country very, very soon. I know we'll see a lot of you. I look forward to your advice, counsel, and second guessing. Thanks, Mark, for everything. Thank you.